Ooh, that was a long one. This is Thorn with the Game Design Lexicon. We are currently playing Star Wars and Knights of the Old Republic. And that was Jerry Candrell Breaks My Back. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, we are on our last 30-minute block for the day, and we are fighting Selvin. I keep wanting to call her Slevin. I don't know why. Maybe lucky number Slevin? I don't know. Who knows? But I'm about to whoop her ass, because she's almost dead. So let's uh let's get back to that here. Um so uh no, don't want to change targets. If I can remember these damn keys here. I got her down half hit points. Oh no, no, even more. Come on, bonk. We just uh increased our oh shit. Better get a healing healing potion there. Potion. It's funny that I'm in Star Wars and I still have healing potions. Oh, it's a stim pack. It's a stim pack. Whatever they call it, you know? Med pack in this. Oh my god. Come on, heal. Heal before you drop, dude. Don't let Karth get his, uh... You know, if you drop, Karth's gonna, like, molest you. Okay. Uh, one bounty down. Ooh, Adrenaline Amplifier, Neural Band. What is all this? So, we got here Neural Band. Saves Will, not usable by Wookiees. Oh, poor Wookiees. They can't use that shit? That's... Eh. Okay, so we'll put that on. Hey, why don't I have my energy shield um, armed? Adrenaline Amplifier. Reflex plus two. Hell yes. Hell yes. Make me a Superman. And now I got one of those little things around my head. Okay. So, what's in her footlocker? Any uh, better stuff? Oh, at least I got some of my med pick packs back. Okay. Well, that's it here. On to the next room. Oh. Dude, this place is a shithole. What a dump. Where's that from? Okay, so here we go. Apartment door. Oh. A minor gas mine. Can Karth disarm that? So, Ready. Karth. Um. Yeah, that there. Um, can you do anything with that? No? I'm here. How about me? I can't do anything with it. I don't have a thief, dude. What do we got, y'all? Read the message. More? I hope you're still practicing that blaster I gave you. Stay away from those swoop gangs. Um, well, shit. All we have is the minor gas mine. What is that going to do to me? Let's save our game and find out. Let's see. Delete number seven. And we are now on number 12. Okay. I can't do anything with it. I'm all sucky sucky. Sucky sucky son of a bitch. Oh well. And let's head out to this apartment door. What's in here? I love how these aren't locked, dude. I'm throwing a grenade at you, and then I'm gonna beat your friend's ass. Why did Parth run up on him? Oh, shit, I need a med kit first. There we go. Oh, well, looks like Karth got him. Good job, Bubba. Um, okay. Let's get these remains. Dude. Karth running up on him. Yeah, exactly. He's, he's probably thinking, oh, well, uh, she just threw a grenade at him anyway, so he's probably all weak and everything. Meh. <laughs> macho, macho man. I want to be a macho man. Look at that, dude. I am a grenading fool in this game. I never use those things. Oh, yeah, the path, the path thing's horrible, dude. Oh, he has a shield. He had a shield. Ooh, Karth leveled. Karth. Level up. 
What do we got here? Skills? Um, demolitions is a class skill. Why don't you know it? Why do you only have one point? And why is all of it in treat injury? Yeah, let's put a point into demolitions for you there. There you go. So maybe we can actually disarm stuff now. Um, what do we got here? Improved power blast. That sounds fun. Let's see, you're using pistols, so I'm not going to give you anything different from that. Toughness would be good. Oh, wait a second. He has double hand... Oh, that's right. He's using two blasters. Duh. So, either toughness or... Or, um, power blast. Hmm. Well, he's not dropping, so let's do power blast. Yay. Accepted. Nice, Karth. I keep on wanting to call him Garth. Like we're playing, like, or we're like watching, uh, oh, god damn it. Like we're watching Wayne's World or something. Can you do something with that mine? Thank God. Um, what is it? Uh, disarm? There we go. Yes? Oh, ho, ho. oh you are the man. I'm glad I put that point in there. Maybe I should go back and get that other one, too. Let's see. Supplies. And anything else? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Well, we out ya. Oh, almost missed some remains. Love me some remains. It's for dinner. Um, where's that other mine? Was it... Wait, wait, was it in there? No. Oh. God damn it. I will destroy you! Oh, miss both of them. Oh, god damn, dude. That sucked. Oh, there you go. All dead. Yeah, so I think after this one, I'm definitely going to play Jade Empire just to kind of break it up. And then uh, after that, I'm going to play the second one of these. So, I'm kind of excited about Jade Empire. I don't think I've ever played that all the way through. Okay, Karth. Um, do your thing. Oh, thanks, Karth. You're such a dork. Okay, fine. Strong box is particularly sturdy construction. The lock is computerized touch panel that uses a password system. Because of the box's older off-planet model, there's no interface for you to try and slice the system. You'll have to figure out the password if you want to get inside. Oh, shit. Um, what is the name of your pet? Um, okay, this is going to be cheesy of me, but I'm going to cheat here. Um, Knights of the Old Republic. What is the name of your pet? Okay. Hmm. Where do we in the South Apartments? Slevin's Apartment, Lower City. Southern apartment. Where the hell am I? Lower city apartments. Um, password. There we go. Um, sealed strong box. Passwords. If you don't get the proper password. Do, do, do. Where's the fucking password? Sealed strong box. Miner gas mine. Let's see. Where is the fucking password? That's weird. 
Like this whole thing has a whole section on the pro. Oh god damn it! Okay, what is this? The um, lower apartment strongbox password. Lower apartment strongbox password. There we go. Um, I'm coming back to make sure nobody put it in chat while I'm sitting here looking. There we go. Impossible means it cannot possibly be picked. Oh, based on information in the letter, which I didn't read. Got it. Okay, well, I guess that's it. Um, let's see. Let's leave the strong box alone here. I guess the password's right here. So this is electronic personal message. Um, brother left a minor. Leave hyperdrive alone. Oh, there you go. So hyperdrive. Well, damn. Why would you name your pet hyperdrive? Um, try to enter the password. Password is hyperdrive. Who taught you to fire a blaster? Oh my god. It's gonna give me a whole fucking quiz. Become a miner. Um, hope you're still practicing with that blaster I gave you. Be dangerous there. Stay away from your swoop gang. So, so nobody's gonna be busting the thing. Let's see. Uncle. Got it. So, hyperdrive, uncle, where did your, oh god damn it, Alderaan, there we go, I almost, I didn't read that last one, but, okay, ooh, a blaster pistol, Republic mod armor, oh shit, I'm glad I did that, um, I don't think I want to use that armor, that sounds like a car thing though. Defense bonus six, yeah, it has one less defense bonus, and it's higher dexterity, so let's make sure that, um, let's make sure that Karth gets it. Um, do, 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 do. do we have anything else for him? Oh, yeah, we got an energy shield he could wear. Hell yeah, okay. dude. Okay, I like cheating. Well, I didn't really cheat. I mean, the password's like right next to it. All I had to do was actually look. So I was already in here. I'm sitting here opening stuff that I've already been through. So I've already been, I think, two rooms out of this. Jeez. And it looks like we went around in the full circle. So out of here we are. And I guess we're going this way. What's over here? Just Karth. Hello, Black Volker. You mind if I throw a grenade at you? Boom. And then you're the only one, so... Oh, boom. Gotcha. Shit, got you. Um, got you. Um, got everyone actually. That's nice. Um, is that the only remains? Okay. Ooh, I got my volume up a little loud here. Let me turn that down a sec. Here. Okay. Something seems to be bothering Karth. Oh, great. He's getting all emo again. Yes, what's on your mind? Um, I want to discuss something you with you. Fair enough. What do you want to discuss? Um, these issues you seem to have with me. <laughs> I know you wouldn't understand where I was coming from. Let me try to explain. You're probably one of the most skilled women I've ever met. You've saved my butt more than once, and I'm lucky to have you here to help me. No question. Yep. But that doesn't mean that I'm going to stop watching you being wary. I'm just not built that way. Period. Okay, not built that way. That sounds like an excuse. Maybe so, but I've been betrayed before by people. Well, it just won't happen again, that's all. 
Um, so you want some guarantee that I won't I betray don't you? you? Betray me, but there are no guarantees. Not for you, not for me. Oh. You don't have to take it personal. It's not like I'm some huge evil Sith Lord or anything. Um. Right, and how am I supposed to know that you won't betray us? Me. Yes, why should I trust you, after all? You shouldn't. If you're smart, you won't trust anyone. Not me, not Bastila, and especially not yourself. That's that's actually a really good philosophy, um, especially the thing about yourself. Um, realizing that you are the king of your own mistakes is probably the best self-awareness exercise that you can ever have in life. Self-exercise lesson. Um, ah, so you don't trust yourself, is that it? I don't need to be analyzed, thanks. Can we just get back to business? Analyzed? You got psychotherapists in the Star Wars universe? That's kind of neat. Um. Uh, you sure you don't want to talk about it? No, I don't want to talk about it. But I want us to save the galaxy, if that's even possible. Why is whether or not I trust you or anyone so damned important to you? Why, why do you even care? We don't have time for this, so can we please just drop it? For now, can we pick it up later if you really must? I'm, I want to get underway. Okay. Let's get underway. Got, um, turrets. Uh, Undercity entrance, which I got the stuff to it. I need to find what's her name, don't I? Uh, mission? Let's, uh, let's go find Mission. I didn't go this other way, so who knows? Maybe there's something this way. Oh, wait a second. Wasn't the base, uh, that, the, the bad guy base over here? Oh, wait. I, just, I didn't go every way you could go over here, did I? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Or did I? Fuck, where am I? Oh. Oh, here we go again, dude. You guys are... I will destroy you. I think I said that already, but still. Oh, nice shot. Shit. I need to heal again, monk. How am I doing on these? Should probably buy some more. I seem to be using a bit, a bit, a lot of them, a lot of them. Um, are there more? Oh, Karth. Um, use that power shot, buddy. What are you doing? Did I get him? Oh, I guess I got him. You asked for this. Well, if they regenerate, I guess that means I can grind them, which is kind of neat. Oh, you're dead. You're dead, dude. Um, Twi'lek Corpse we already got. Um, and these guys didn't leave any loot. They're just the guy that I looted over here. That sucks. What is this? Um, Lower City Apartments? Yeah, I haven't gone in here, have I? They're locked. Not for long. Because my vibro blades work against this metal door. How about that? It's magical. Hey, you can't come in here. This is a private apartment. Um What are you doing in here? This place is abandoned. Uh, let's see. Are you in some sort of trouble? Oh. I don't like your attitude. You shouldn't push a man on the edge. Oh, okay. Oh. Ouch, that hurt you, son of a bitch. Oh. 
Bonk. Another mission gone. That guy's death was kind of elaborate. He kind of reminded me of uh, Cheech Marin on Yellowbeard when he dies, and he's like, no overacting! And then dies and, like, overacts the whole death. And everybody, like, applauds him and shit. Yellowbeard's such a great movie. I can't believe it got, like, such shit reviews when it came out. With two farthings for a lump of shit? Now let's cancel that. Disengage. Let's go after that guy. There we go. Ow. Don't make me have to use another health shield. I'm gonna be mad. Oh, well, never mind. Any loot? Of course not. Okay, what do we got in here? We got, um... Oh, I remember this. So... The Twisted Ranger Tree... Rancor... Twisted, Twisted Rancor Trio? What the fuck? See Volker shock stick. Weird. Frag grenades. Ion. There we go. Here we go. Um. Sh oh. Um. Oh, that's cool. Guts and glory. The chronicles of two amazing story of uh of the uh, guts and glory. A chronicle of the amazing story of the twisted rancor trio by Githios Eusarkos, a work in progress. The origins of what would eventually become the most famous band in the galaxy. Um, earned date with young singer Alinda. The play worked, and Alinda became the first member. So, Alinda... Uja... And Uji. Belinda, Uja, Uji. Lupa. Odo. Okay. Do I have to turn them off again, too? And then Ashana. I know that's not going to work. So... Um, not Karth. First, Alinda. And then Uja, right? And then Uji, right? And then um, Lupa. Get out of the way, Karth. And then. Um, I don't remember photo. Was it photo? Photo. And then Ashana. Hey! Did I fuck it up? Oh no, I got it right! Holy shit, dude! My memory! My memory worked! Holy shit, my memory worked! Achani fiber armor. Noise. Yeah, dude, you gotta be excited when your, like, faltering memory actually does something worth a shit. Um. Achani Fiber Armor. Let's see, six and plus three. This one's five and plus five. Uh, that'd be good for Karth. Not for me, though. What does he have? He has the, uh, Republic mod. That's five and four. This one's five and five, though, so... 
That'll be able to give him his dexterity bonus if he has... He doesn't have a super high dexterity, but better than what he had. Dude, I can't believe I got that right. Another apartment door. What's in here? Hey guys, how's it going? Mind if I join your party? Car's running up on him again. How did you like that? Oh. He just smacked Garth, dude. Garth's like... Oh, Garth. I want to call him Garth now. Maybe like Garth Brooks? I don't know. Garth's like... How do you like that? And then he smacks him with his vibro dagger. Okay, let's uh, medicate again here real quick. Thank you. Please drive through. Okay, get that. Oh, shit. Almost messed up on not getting the loot. Where I get all my med packs from. Okay. Oh man, dude. A good education. That's the key to life, son. Getting back to the three R's: reading, uh, running, and uh, the other thing. <laughs> Okay. Let's get this foot locker going here. Anything else in here? No, I'm just Garth. And the Thunder Road. Uh, anybody in here? Oh, more of you assholes. Oh, this is like the Volker Central hangout, dude. They're just like everywhere in here. Okay, looks like we've made our swakel. Time to get out of here. Okay, and I think that's the only place we hadn't been in here. So, um, let's see, what do we got here? Black Volker Base, apartments, um, cantina. I don't think she's in the cantina, was she? I don't think so. I think we need to go this way. Let's check the cantina once again, since we're going to pass right by it, and then we'll head to that one area that we haven't been. Looking for a big walking carpet. Doot doot doot. Oh, we can collect some bounties while we're here, huh? That's always good. Um, the guy with the butt head. Uh, don't want to talk to him anymore. Once was plenty. Yeah, no small talk. Gurney said I should speak to you about... No, that's not what I want. Got a bounty I want to collect on. Uh, Matrix. Thank you. Please drive through. Um, got another bounty. Slevin. Thank you. Um, that's it. Later. Gator. Nice. And nothing that Karth got upset about, which is nice. Um, Gelrude? Oh, this is the entrance. We're out. Not gonna do Pazek. Talk about another thing that they just kind of, like, forced into the game that was, like, 
Let's put a card mini game inside of it so you can play it in the in. I mean, they could have just put like a slot machine or something. Come on. Okay, let's see where are we at. Game eight, delete. Okay, and new slot, save. Thorn thirteen, lucky thirteen. Nice. Okay, let's go into the. Uh, Whatever this door was, I can't remember. I could run faster. Like sprint or something. Oh, those are apartments, that's right. Okay. So, oh, we got our papers to go down there, right? I think the guy gave us the papers. Hey, man, how's it going? Only those with official Sith business are allowed into the Undercity. I have papers. I just said I had my papers. Let me see. Uh, yeah, these look to be in order. Okay, you can go down if you want. Can't say I envy you, though. The Undercity Good. is crawling with mutants. Rack ghouls, they call them. If you see anything moving down there, shoot first and ask questions later. Will do. Thanks for the, thanks for the advice. Elevator go down. Elevator go down. Okay, I think we're gonna have a little cutscene here, aren't you we? You there, Upworlder! Anyone using this elevator has to pay the toll. The yeah, troll this is toll? our elevator. If you use it, you gotta give us something. I don't believe this planet. Even the beggars are trying to shake us down. Five credits! That's what it costs to use our elevator. Five credits! Um... Who are you? What are you doing in the Undercity? We are the outcasts, banished and reviled by those who dwell above. Here in the filth and darkness, we claw out a wretched existence, scavenging and begging just to survive long enough to see another wretched day. This what? is our village. You're shaking me we down. Live here in the Undercity, you have to pay us five credits for using our elevator. Oh, nice. The original Pharaoh game? That sounds awesome. Yeah, GOG is a place to go, dude. GOG is probably the only other game service that I use regularly because of uh, um, because of some of the older games that are on it, like uh, the Lords of Midnight games I purchased. Uh, if you've ever uh, played the Lords of Midnight games, um, they're probably pretty cheap on GOG. Um, but they remade them to update them because I played them originally on the Commodore 64. Um, one of the reasons why I started this channel was to play the Knights of Lords of Midnight. Um, nice, yeah. The I remember reading the about the um, about the remastered on the I, where, when you mentioned it last time. You read uh, I read the reviews on the Steam uh, version, and yeah, there were there were a lot of like not so shining reviews of it. Um, yeah. If you get a chance, uh, check out Lords of Midnight on GOG. It's a really good one. Um, give me a sec, I'll get you that. And they also made a uh, sequel to it. It's a really fun game. It's the first time that I'd ever played, like, a mass combat type game. You know, like, uh, uh, what do you call it? Like, um, like you have whole armies of people and stuff. It's a really unique, unique game. The guy who made it is uh, kind of genius. Yeah, I love Lords of Midnight. It's good stuff. Um, this is a public elevator. I'm not paying any toll. Please have pity on us. We Please. Have it has a really like original graphic style and everything. The cool thing is, it's like a roguelike kind of. It's all tile-based movement and everything, and the uh, the main map is like a, it's like a overland map. Um. Again, it's it's probably one of the first games of its kind in the sense that you are controlling like armies of people and you have to go around the, the, the overland map and recruit other armies to fight against a evil army who's <clears throat> basically trying to kill you and take over the, the entire map. It's, it's really interesting. And the second game was uh, pretty much just more of the same, a lot more expanded. It was a really, really awesome game. Let's see what what did they what was the price on that? Couldn't remember. 
Um, free. Oh, hey, how about that? You can't beat that, huh? Gotta love it. Okay. So... I'll just give him 20 credits. What the hell? Credits, my brother! We have credits. Now we can buy food and medicine. Hush, or the others will hear us. Go on, you two. Get out of here. Uh-oh. Sorry about that. Those two beggars give everyone in the village a bad name. We aren't all like that, you know. Most of us are good people. I'm sure you are, miss. It's just too bad your little welcoming committee is here to give people a bad first impression. Uh, my name's Shell's a Skysucker. Who are you? My name is Shalina. You're from the Upworld, aren't you? I've, I've never seen it. Not really. I was born here in the Undercity. Is it as nice as they say up there? Um, it's okay. Not to you, I suppose, but you're probably used to its beauty by now. Mm, I've not really. Into the surface, but sometimes I think I can see it in my dreams. The sun, the sky, the stars. It all sounds so. So, so wonderful. Gendar, the leader of our village, tells me I should spend more time trying to improve things down here and less time dreaming about something I can never have. Yeah, the guy who did Lords of Midnight, um, he he made a whole bunch of games that are that all kind of have the same feel to them. Uh, another one was Midwinter for the IBM PC and its sequel. And then he also did, uh, oh shit, more recent games. Really awesome. It's always... It's always you're like some power and you're running around a, a, usually an overland map trying to recruit troops to fight some sort of greater evil. It's, it's really interesting. Midwinter's really awesome because it incorporated a lot of like uh, freezing mechanics and a lot of um, a lot of other stuff. Uh, let's see. Rukil, who's that? Rukil is the oldest man in the village. The kids call him Rukil Wrinkleskin, but he's a kind man. He used to tell me the greatest stories when I was a little girl. I still like oh. to listen to his tales about the promised land, even though I know they're just legends, but it helps to make the Undercity seem less... less dark somehow. Yeah, I bet. Um, the promised land, what's that? It's... it's just a story to make little children smile. Rukil believes in it, though. Sometimes I can almost believe it myself, but then I look around and see the ugly truth. <sighs> I guess we have to make the best of what we have, though. If you really want to learn more about the Promised Land, you should speak to Rukia. Will do. Where can I find him? He's wandering around somewhere on the south side of the village. He doesn't move too far. He's hard on his bones. He's over 100 years old. The children laugh at him, and people think he's crazy because of his stories about the Promised Land, but he's really just a kind old man. 100 years old. What is a year... Because, I mean, here, I know what a year is here because it's like our Earth orbiting the sun. But what the hell's a year there? Anyway, Promised Land, what's... Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, where can I find Gindar? He'll be somewhere in the village. I couldn't say where for sure. He's always busy doing whatever he can to make the lives of the other villagers easier. Oh, okay. Um... Do you know anything about the escape pods that crashed? I don't know anything about that, but maybe Gendar could help you. Sorry. Okay. Is there anything else you need? No, if you can't tell me that, then, um... Uh, I'll be going. Screw oh, it. Oh, okay. Well, if you ever need anything, or if you just feel like talking, come back and see me. Ooh. I hardly ever get a chance to speak to someone from the Upworld. Okay. Sounds fun. Okay, and I think that's, uh, that's where we're gonna end it here. Let's see. Let's save this game. We're on save. Um, holy shit, dude. We're on save 14 already. So let's uh, do that. New slot. Save Thorn 14. And I definitely want to thank everybody for joining us. This has been Thorn with Game Design Lexicon. We've been playing some Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. We will be back tomorrow with some more Fallout, A Tale of Two Wastelands. A really awesome Fallout mod for Fallout New Vegas that allows you to play Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas in the same engine, in the Fallout New Vegas engine. And then on Friday we have Draken saying we'll be back with some more CRPG goodness on that day if you like that kind of thing. Um, I definitely want to thank everybody for joining us. Our music for today has been Jerry Cantrell. 
And uh, if you made it this far, make sure you're giving us a follow because we, uh, we do enjoy your company here. And if you want to watch any of our older stuff, you can catch us over on YouTube. Uh, same channel name, same channel time, same same bat, bat whatever. Anyway, um, thanks for joining us. Have a wonderful rest of your week.